Welcome back to my channel. I will be reacting to the newest show showdown. I know there's Knuckles versus Terrafin, but I will be reacting to that pretty soon after this one. But anyways, we got no idea who these two characters are. Sir Dallas versus Chop Chop. Let's just get on with this video. I know for a fact, I got no idea who these two characters are. Never heard of them. Never heard of them. Never seen them. Never, never in my life seen it. Played the game. Whatever they are. Get on with the video. Right now. <laughs> ah, it's a pumpkin. A moth and pumpkin. And this is the series for the Show Off Showdown. Now let's meet the show off. And you that's very creative. Tonight is the Show Off Showdown Halloween Special. Hey. And we have a battle between two spooky, scary skeleton warriors. Oh, don't say that. Sir Daniel Fortas New versus Chop Chop. Oh. Which of these two skeletal fighters will... I realized that you didn't. Between two spooky, scary skeleton warriors. It's spooky, right. scary skeleton. Those are the two skeleton fighters. Will bone the other first. Well, let's find out. I put links in the description below. Let's get started. Now, let's go ahead and 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 get started. Besides, um, Sam Sand vs. Dr. Strange. Is that the Lion Shield? Okay, that's a good Zoo Dallas. I cannot understand a single word you are saying. Now leave and never return, or you shall face the consequences. Look at he got no jaw, that's why. Very well. Cringing moment. How dare you? Cringe. The cringe is real. He's dead. <laughs> oh, time ripped off my leg. My God. I mean, I don't have a problem with the animation. Just there's some cringy moments. No, I wasn't scared. No! Not so Calvert! No! Oh my, my eye! I don't know what's wrong with this. Let me hear. Sans, help me make this fight better. Please make this fight better. Sans, quick, Sans, use gas blast attack. Please make the roll already. Please. Please, chop, chop, please. Chop chop, please help me. Find a battle fighter. Actually, the one thing that's pretty cool is um, that sword swing attack. The one that you literally just twist him around. Motherfucker! Literally, 
he just tapped him. He just got the arena. I need him. Where he did? Oh, oh, oh. Sure, you can. The pleasure is all spying. I swear, if he gets knocked out. Thank you, it's over! Thank you! You you spared me! Wow! You know what they say! Sticks and stones won't break my bones, but Chop Chop Blade can break Sir Daniel! <laughs> yeah, I could have said that better. Anyway, let's discuss how and why Chop Chop wins the spooky, scary, skeletal showdown. First off, let's discuss who is more skilled and experienced. Now, Sir Daniel died at age 36, and he is now currently 636 years old. Although most of that time, he kind of spends sleeping like the dead, both figuratively and literally. Now, on the other hand, Chop Chop is an ancient, undead, Archean warrior. The Arche the robot race was said to have lived over 10,000 years ago, and because Literally. he is a member of the Archean race, he is most likely been Everything is Skyler is 10,000 years old! The Empire was destroyed, Chop Chop continued to roam and fight throughout all that time. So when it comes to experience, I think it's safe to say that Chop Chop definitely has the edge here. Believe now, even though Chop people, Chop? Sir Daniel and Chop Chop are both very skilled warriors, swordsmen, and heroic fighters in general. So I think it's safe to say that Sir Daniel and Chop Chop are both skilled enough to roughly match each other in close combat. Now let's discuss speed. Now Sir Daniel is fast enough to outrun explosions and dodge sniper bullets, but Chop Chop is able to block and dodge the exact same sort of things. So Sir Daniel and Chop Chop should be pretty e No way, actually, I find what would be pretty funny, like, oh yeah, oh yeah, who's firing good at me? Well, might as well lift my head, wow, and just put it back. That'd be funny. Definitely matched when it comes to speed as well. Now let's discuss strength. Now both fighters are surprisingly strong for such bony skeletons. Sir Daniel may be strong enough no! to increase small shockwaves with his hammer, but Chop uh. Chop is so strong that his strength actually okay. rivals that of Spyro. Regardless of which form or series, Chop Chop has always rivaled Spyro's strength since the first game. Now really? the classic Spyro is strong enough to break through 10 meters of solid granite, which means he can strike with over 8,000 tons of force, and yet classic Spyro is the weakest incarnation of Spyro. But but even if we lowball Chop Chop's strength all the way down to Classic Spyro's level, Chop Chop would still have a clear strike advantage over Sir Daniel. Now let's discuss huh. durability. Now Sir Daniel does have very good durability, as he once tanked a 100 foot drop without a scratch, and he got flung out of a catapult and shot out of a cannon filled with several barrels of gunpowder, and he was perfectly fine. No doubt no time! Now on the other hand, Chop Chop has one of the highest armor and durability levels of all Skylanders. In fact, not only can Chop Chop tank much larger balls and explosions than Sir Daniel can, but Chop Chop can even survive getting pummeled and or crushed by giant Archean robots and the Titans. So I think it's safe to say that Chop Chop can definitely take a lot more abuse than Sir Daniel can. Now let's discuss feats. Now Sir Daniel and Chop Chop have both faced very similar foes within their games, such as the undead, giant monsters, robots, demons, evil wizards, etc. But as you would have known, Chop Chop has faced much greater and more dangerous threats than Sir Daniel has. Now last, but definitely not least, let's discuss their weaponry. Now, it is true that Sir Daniel has a much larger arsenal of many different weapons, including long-range weapons, but the downside to that is just about all of Sir Daniel's weapons can get lost or stolen, while Chop Chop's blade cannot. Speaking what?! Which, Chop Chop what?! Has a special blade and shield. What fucking sense does that make?! I'm sorry for cussing. But literally, why?! Why?! That's just like saying, like, oh yeah, I have the most powerful, the most badass weapon known to man, but that can be stolen and used against me. Why? You, I wish you could throw something right now, but I can't. So I'm just, just gonna throw, I'm just gonna throw, throw this ram sock. Why? Please, oh my. Why? both forged by the Archeans. And believe it or not, Chop Chop's sword and shield were said to be made of an indestructible metal. Oh my hey, don't ask me. I'm just telling you what his backstory said. I'm not the one who wrote it. Anyway, sure! Sir Daniel's very wide and useful okay. arsenal. Okay, he's Sadly, not none of his weapons are capable of breaking Chop Chop. Now, Sir Daniel's strongest shield is known as the Golden Shield, but it can still break if taken enough damage. And his most powerful sword is known as Wooden Bane, but he needs two hands to wield it, so he can't use his shield 
shield while wielding it. Besides, not only can it be stolen just like his other weapons, but it still wouldn't be enough to counter Chop Gun's blade since it was stated to be unbreakable. Now, I am even done. if Sir Daniel uses the Anubis Stone to raise the Knights of Galamir from the dead, it still wouldn't be enough. In fact, Chop Chop has once faced evil clones of himself before, so he should have no problem fighting Sir Daniel's comrades. Not to mention, Sir Daniel has to sacrifice some of his own health if he wants to heal his army. Now, you could make the argument that the Anubis Stone could slowly drain Chop Chop's life force if he's in close range of it, but Chop Chop has actually faced arena challenges where his health continuously drains, and he has to defeat all the enemies in the ring before his health meter runs out. So therefore, this should be nothing new to Chop Chop. <laughs> anyway, not only can Chop Chop's blade match and counter pretty much all of Sir Daniel's weapons, but Chop Chop's shield is also capable of blocking and deflecting pretty much everything Sir Daniel has to throw at him. But that's not all his shield can do. You know how in Power Rangers, the Megazord's power sword can absorb incoming energy no. and turn it no. against the attacker? No! But believe it or not, Chop Chop's shield can actually do something pretty similar. If you land attacks on Chop Chop's shield while it's raised, the shield actually absorbs the damage and then turns it against the attacker with the shield bash ability. So, so made it like Power Rangers, pow the Power Rangers Chop -Chop sword shield, plus the Chop move Chop counter Pokemon. Turn Sir Daniel's own striking power against him with just a single shield bash. In fact, if Chop Chop's shield has absorbed enough damage from Sir Daniel and Chop Chop decides to unleash his mega shield bash attack, then Sir Daniel is going to get struck by the full force of not only Chop Chop's strength, but also his own strength combined. Oh. Which should definitely be enough raw force to shatter Sir Daniel's bony body like glass. <laughs> I or swear you survived Chop that. Chop use his twin blade wow power attack to slice and dice Sir Daniel into a million pieces faster than the blink of an eye. Even though the attack takes about five seconds to charge up, it'll still work. Oh, and not to mention, I'd like to point out that Sir Daniel can be a little bit of a coward despite his brave and valiant efforts, while on the other Why hand, do that sound familiar? Of course. A courageous hardcore warrior who knows no fear and never backs from a fight, no matter how dangerous the threat is. Plus, the fact that Chop Chop can be pretty intimidating could make things a little bit harder for Sir Daniel from an emotional standpoint. So overall, while Sir Daniel and Chop Chop are roughly evenly matched when it comes to speed and fighting skill, and Sir Daniel may have a long range advantage along with a much wider arsenal of weapons, but Chop Chop has many other significant advantages over Sir Daniel, and he does have what it takes to get the job done. So <laughs> in the end, Sir Daniel got Forta Skewered. The winner of this battle is Chop Chop. Oh okay, God. now I know this is like the third Skylanders fight in a row, and I was going to try and cut back on Skylanders fights after I finished Knuckles vs. Terrapin, but then I realized that Halloween was coming up, and I thought this match will be perfect for a Halloween special. Now, if you guys want to break this line of Skylanders fights in a row, then let me know what kinds of non-Skylanders ideas you have. Break it! Below. Break it, guys! Go to the description below! Go to the, go to the comments! Think of other fights! No more Skylanders! I couldn't resist. It is a Halloween special, after all. Either way, happy Halloween! Bye! Actually, guys, uh, real quick. Now stay tuned for the next episode of Showdown. Mm. Yeah, but anyways, guys, um, I will, I will be reacting to that video right there. But anyways, um, yeah, I have talked to uh the guy who your Canadian favorite your Canadian favorite YouTuber, and I did talk to him, and he don't know because. There's two fights that he wants to do. One of them, I want him, I want every single, like, I want someone to do, to make a Ryuko battle. Like, Ryuko versus Shadow, Ryuko versus Wolverine, Ryuko versus Raiden from Metal Gear, Ryuko versus someone else. Like, like oh yeah, she's not the most overpowering person, and she's probably not as noticeable. Because literally, she only had one season. They could have done another season, but no, they decided not to. But yes, um, yeah, I want him to do Raiden Ra 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 versus Ryuko versus Raiden. But no, I will. I'm not gonna be like that guy. Be like, oh yeah, which fight should I do next, dude? Oh yeah, I want you to do this fight. I want this fight. I want this fight. Because I've been asking for that fight for what a month or two or something. A month or two, I commented down in one of his videos. I mean, I'm not gonna be that douchebag, and he had another fight, so I just adjusted that. I don't want to say what it is, but yeah. But yes, guys, what's up?
Fuck it out. Mother out. That's not good. Ow. Oh. Ow. Oh, I have only. But without further ado, please chop that like button. Phone, computer, tablet. Whatever you use to watch this video, chop it in half. Cut that like button. Press it with that sword. Whatever you do, you do whatever you use to do whatever to that like button. Do it. And also, what's comment down below? What do you want me to react to? And I will do it whenever I get the chance. And without further ado, guys, peace out.